So this red end that you're seeing is the main reason for me dyeing my hair today. I bleached and dyed my hair red at the beginning of my lock journey and for some reason I just cannot seem to get rid of the red no matter how many times I dye yeah I just can't get rid of the red so I'll be using one box of the Revlon color silk hair color and that's black I normally use jet black in the cream of nature line but okay hopefully we get the same results I always use petroleum jelly to protect areas like my ears, my forehead from getting stained with the black dye. Then of course, we go in with our gloves and I always put an elastic to prevent it from sliding out. Yes, because I have tiny hands and they always slide out even if I'm wearing small gloves. Okay, so this is what my mixture looks like. And I'm just going to go in with that, starting with the tips of my hair because that's where most of the red is. And then I will just work that in, trying to cover as much as I can. And I like to work in sections. Sometimes I do three or four sections. I find it makes the job a lot easier and a lot tidier too. Please don't forget to subscribe like comment share and turn on your notification bell to ensure that you're tuned in to everything me on a screen near you so guys i like using the permanent hair color because it lasts longer than the temporary hair color and with the permanent hair color you don't have a lot of staining for example on your pillows and clothing if you sweat you know it doesn't run or at least the ones i've used so I just prefer the permanent hair color. Now, after ensuring that there's no more red in the tips, I go in and start from the roots and just work throughout the entire thing to ensure that my hair is not too toned, if you get what I mean. It really is important to me that everything is the same color or I should say shade of black. After doing each section, we want to ensure that we secure it away from the next section that we are about to do. It just makes everything a lot easier. It makes the job a lot tidier, guys. I'm only using one bottle of dye, so I'm trying to work very moderately while trying to cover as much as I can. I'd just like to say a huge thank you once again to all my subscribers for getting me to 2,000. I really love and appreciate all of you. And i just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on my YouTube journey. Please feel free to let me know down in the comment section what other content you'd like to see from me, what kind of hairstyles you'd like to see from me. But guys, don't be afraid. Let me know. Someone suggested that I show y'all how I do the short bob look that I do most of the times. Well, that will be up in my next video. So like I said, be sure to hit the notification bell so you would be updated every time I post a new video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And watch till the end to see what products I use to moisturize my freshly dyed hair.
okay now so the final step is to cover it and we're going to use a shower cap that fits or you can use a plastic bag anything that can actually fit around your hair and we're just going to let it sit for like five to ten minutes before we wash it out and yeah that's it guys I washed it out and as you can see all the red is gone is now nice and black uh, just the way I want it and I did towel dry my hair in order to give it a nice damp base for me to go in with my moisturizers If you've watched any of my videos you already know by now that I use oils to moisturize I'm going to go in with some castor oil some coconut oil uh, vitamin E oil yep and some rosemary oil and I'm just going to mix that and go in all these oils are a hundred percent pure and they work wonders for my hair and skin I just like to say a huge thank you to Bella Mara for always hooking me up with the all natural oils here in Nassau and if you're in any of the neighboring islands she also does shipping so yeah guys I think you should hook yourself up with some pure rich all natural oils So as we come to the end of this video, guys, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yes, please turn on your notification bell because I will be doing a requested style in my next video and I think it will be a good watch. So see you guys again in my next video. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.